Hi there, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. Today I'm going to be working on the spindle upgrade for our Cub Cadet 149 tractor loader backhoe transformation. So these right here are the original uh, wheel spindles on the Cub Cadet 149. This uh, shaft right here is three quarters of an inch uh, thick. I'm going to upgrade this with a spindle that's one inch thick. It's going to add a lot more strength uh, to the spindle. The weak point right here is where is right where this shaft connects to this uh, piece of steel right here. So I'm going to upgrade it with this right here. This is a one inch in diameter spindle shaft. These are used for uh, trailers, pull behind trailers uh, for cars like utility trailers. And this is going to have a four bolt hub that connects to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, blocky part off this shaft and then I'm going to take this shaft to a machine shop and have them turn, uh, I'm going to have them bore a hole, a three quarter inch hole through the center of this shaft. Then I'm going to take it, slide it over the existing shaft and then I'm going to weld it in place. So, I've cut the block off the spindle, here's the block, here's the rest of the spindle. This is what I'm going to take uh, to the machine shop, and again I'm going to have them bore a three quarter inch hole right down the center, so this will slide over the existing spindle. I'll be right back. I took these to a machine shop and I had them bore it out three quarters of an inch. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to slide it through the existing spindle and then weld it in place. So to break this down to step-by-step -step procedure, I'm going to first take this spindle to my bench grinder, grind down a bevel on all sides, and then I'm going to wire wheel a lot of, as much of the paint and rust as I can, as well as grind it down to the bare metal for the ground on my welder, and then I'm going to weld it in place. So here is the finished product. These are the two uh, new steering spindles for the Cub Cadet 149. Uh, these are now one inch in diameter. They're going to take uh, four bolt hubs and it's going to be great. This is going to be uh, extra strong, ready to take on all the extra workload that the front end loader I'm building will have on it. So there you have it. The spindles on our Cub Cadet 149 tractor loader backhoe transformation is ready. Please stay tuned and check out part six. I'll be reassembling parts of the tractor as well as showing you some of the front end loader welding and construction as it's coming along. Once again, if you need any parts for your Kohler case series, uh, Tecumseh or Vintage Briggs and Stratton cast iron engines, please check out our website, isavetractors.com. We carry almost everything you need to rebuild these vintage small engines and we ship all over the world. My name is Norman, thanks for watching.